Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's Roxanne. I'm at home in Arizona, and it is 6.12 a.m. Yes, it's still dark out. <laughs> uh, and every morning at this time, it just keeps getting darker and darker. But this is life. It's fall. I love fall, so I don't mind it too much. What I do mind is being up this early and having to drive to the office. Oh well. <laughs> I keep telling myself it's not for much longer. It's not for much longer. 62 is getting here in March and me retiring in April. So I want to talk about that a little bit. And I know it's dark, so this is not great quality, but what that's what when I can talk. So I don't know how many of you like are waiting to retire until your full retirement age or in your 70s and you know to each their own um, for me I have always wanted to be able to retire at 62 and um, I have totally admit that my husband and I were not good at saving um, for retirement as our kids were growing up, we lived paycheck to paycheck. Um, it wasn't until the mid nineties, um, when we were both in our mid thirties, um, that we started putting away in a 401k. Uh, the company we worked for offered that, um, was a yellow pages company. Um, and they offered that and we started putting away money and fortunately you know it got some savings not a, not a, like a great lot but we've had enough and over the years we've tried to keep debt down we still do have some but when we moved here to Arizona we decided that we wanted to get a house that was inexpensive enough that we could afford it if we needed to retire um, or when we retired actually so I purposely looked for a house um, let me pick this up in a minute okay sorry for that little break where was I <laughs> um, so anyway we were talking about my my housing situation um, so we, we purchased a home here in Arizona um, at a very good time and we had made enough money on our house in Colorado that we could put a large down payment. So our house payment's relatively small. Um, at the time, we didn't have any car payments. We just had a few credit cards and then the house. And of course, then it got to the point where my husband needed to start using a walker in a wheelchair and couldn't drive anymore. Um, and we he had we had given one of our cars to our daughter, and so he had purchased another car. So it was sitting in the driveway not being used because he couldn't drive. So we decided to trade both of them in and get a bigger car that would have room in the trunk for the wheelchair and stuff like that. So we did have a car payment again. But then it got closer, and it's closer and closer to, you know, now I'm six months away from wanting to retire and I've got a house payment and a car payment and credit cards. So fortunately, uh, about a year ago, my sister introduced me to a really good financial advisor. Um, and um, so I've been talking to him. We've been running through scenarios and um, financially, um, I can afford to retire at 62 as long as I continue to work at least part-time, which is fine with me. I don't mind working as long as I'm doing something that's fun and that I enjoy. So that's the plan. We took some money out to pay off the car, so that payment's no longer there. I'm gonna adjust this down a little bit. So that payment's no longer there, and the credit cards will all be paid off by the time I retire in April. And we're just going to take a little bit of time off, visit with grandbabies. And then um, where I live, 
there's lots and lots of part-time jobs for seniors. And again, I don't mind working a part-time job as long as it's something that I find enjoyable and fun. Plus, I've got my jewelry business. And that right now is making me, on a part-time basis, enough money that um, I can pay for, like, the groceries for the month. But if I were able to do it more, who knows where it could take me. So, retirement is in our plan. And I just want to say, retiring at 62 is not going to be a bad thing. I'm looking forward to it. I've been watching lots and lots of different people on um, YouTube here that have made that move to retire at 62 instead of waiting till full retirement age. You know, and if you love your job and your health is really good, stay with your job. You don't get that much more money by, by waiting. I think between 62 and full retirement age at 67, it's maybe another five to $700 a month, which yeah, is a lot, but over the years, um, that's, you know, five years where I don't know, my health seems to get worse every year. Maybe it's just me, um, but it'll give me a chance to have some time to start exercising again and pay attention to my health more. Um, because right now, going to work, coming home tired, um, mentally and physically, I don't have that time to exercise and do all that stuff. So that'll be five years worth of, of being able to do all that stuff. So I'm excited about it. And I know that it's gonna be less, but my financial advisor has run the numbers. And that I think is really important. If you're gonna consider and think about retiring early, make sure that you have run the numbers. Make sure you talk to a financial advisor. And if you're young, if you're in your 20s and 30s, start saving now the maximum amount that you can in your 401ks um, or IRAs. Put money, start putting money away now because this age comes faster than you think. And you know what? You, you get to this point and you don't want to be waiting that last six months. So do it now. Think about it. And just be ready. Just be ready. Keep your debts low and be ready for it. Anyways, that's my little that's my little piece of advice for today for anybody. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I'm going to be heading into the sun here in just a couple of minutes uh, as I make my way east. So I will say goodbye so that I can concentrate on the road, which I am doing, by the way. So, <laughs> All right, you guys, have a wonderful day. This is Roxanne. I'm at home here in Arizona, and I love you all. God bless. Bye.